Kong Roll, uh -huh. and I delivered a speech to my comrades in the Hong Kong Regiment in Toronto. Uh -huh. And one of the things that we really lack is a, is a much more, much bigger book about just how well they behave. Mm -hmm. They were outstanding. Mm -hmm. And the more I read, yeah. the more I understand it, the worse I feel is that what you used to be called the Hong Kong Volunteer Defense okay. Corps, yes. yeah. it fought magnificently and it won more awards than anybody else. Did oh. you know that? We, we in Your no colonel yeah. was very ill, but he wrote a book about it. Uh -huh. But it's a sketchy, uh, it's, it's not a full description. Is his name a Colonel Ryan? Yeah. yeah. Uh, he does it the best job he could. He was, he, he died not long after that. I think it would be a wonderful thing if somebody who was a member of the Hong Kong Volunteer Defense Corps, even if we have to hire an editor, should write a book about it, mm -hmm. a much more descriptive book. Mm -hmm. The Chinese citizens of the Hong Kong Volunteer Defense Corps did a marvelous job in the battle. Thank you. They fought hard, very, very good, and fortunately, because they were Chinese, Many of them were able to slip away yeah. and escape, yeah. and they became involved in the underground. Uh, I'm some one of the volunteers who used to live in BC, of course, he passed away a long time ago. He escaped to China and go to Burma and joined the special force in Burma. Yes, I read about him. General Wingate, yeah. 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 wonderful guy. Yeah. There, so, uh, I'm, I'm so glad to express my concern about this. How many members do you have in uh, Winnipeg? Um, no, uh, we have uh, three members to come this time. And um, in BC, we have different branches, you know, Toronto. Yes, and BC, yes, yeah. yes. And uh, we are around 40 members in BC. Uh, yeah, and, uh, but uh, this time uh, we just get a sudden notice, so we can only arrange three of us to come here. You know, when the memorial wall in Ottawa mm -hmm. was set up with the, this wall, I'll show you. Now. Yeah. This is going to be translated into Chinese mm -hmm. so that. I can help. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's the second last page. Second last page, okay. Actually, our regiment, we did publish our official record of the Battle of Hong Kong. Yeah. Yeah. Our regiment? Yeah. We did publish an uh, official record of the Battle of Hong Kong. I've never seen that. How yeah. can I get a copy? Let's see if I can get a copy to you. Oh, I'd love that. Yeah. Or oh, here, oh, here is the wall. Now, when this wall was established, the Hong Kong regiment in Ontario hired a bus. Oh. And they came and they were with us at this ceremony. Oh, good. All of them. Yeah, yeah, was, good, good. We were delighted and yeah. amazed. And you our, in Ottawa, that time in Ottawa. Yes, yeah, that's great. I'd love to read that. I've read, okay. I've I'll read the Colonel's it. book, but it's it's limited. Yeah, it doesn't give the whole story. Oh, this book is totally dedicated to the role the volunteer play in the Battle of Hong Kong. I see. And did you come for this uh, for this convention? Yes. Yeah. Oh. Actually, it's a great honor and surprise. Isn't it wonderful? Now, this so book, yeah, I've book. just read this, mm -hmm. finished this book. Yeah. This is to... Oh, that's that the famous thought. Uh, yeah. Tell the story of, a, of our mascot uh -huh. who took part in the battle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And we're translating it into Chinese Good. Uh -huh. so that... Uh, Chinese children in Canada and yeah. Hong Kong yeah. will know that Canada and Hong Kong were allies yes. a long time ago. So yeah, yeah, yeah. I have a little sovereign to you, sir. I have uh, first uh, in '95 uh, to commemorate the 50th anniversary of the Battle of Hong Kong. The postal Hong Kong they have uh, set those uh, first day posts. Yeah. I, I, I bought a set here. Really? Yeah, yeah. I can give to you. Oh, this 
I need to go. Oh, no. Anyway, yeah. I'm so glad so, you're I here. You tonight, I can yeah. give it to you, yeah. I'm yeah. so glad you're here, and I wanted you to know that I'm a an honorary member of the, Hong, of, the, of the Hong Kong Regiment, and I'm the only honorary member in Toronto, and I tell everybody <laughs> I know. <laughs> yeah, we are very nice to meet you here, yeah. Well, and, uh, yeah actually, the, I know the chairman of the Toronto uh, branch, uh, Tony Ao. I know him well. He was yeah. my section couple when I was in the new recruits. <laughs> You know, Tony is a head of a, a big political organization. Yeah. yeah. And he's uh, in real estate. Oh, yeah. oh is he now? Yeah. Oh, I see. Yeah. He's in real estate. He's doing oh. very well. Oh. Good, good, good. Yeah. Yeah. Now, yeah. Alfred, Alfred Lai. Oh, Alfred Lai, he went to Afghanistan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. He's now a major in the yeah. Canadian Air yeah. Force. He's translating the book. Oh, oh good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We were in the same squadron when we were in Hong Kong. Really? Alfred Lai, yeah. He was a troop leader yeah. at that time. I visited him in uh, his office in. Uh, I remember he's looking here, Camp Gordon, ten days ago. I went to Camp Gordon to see him, and he's a very senior officer. He's a commander of the 3rd Signal Regiment of the regular army. He's a big shot. Yeah, and, and we're proud of him because he um, volunteered to Afghanistan. Yes, Yeah. and I met his commander and he told me that uh, Alfred is a first-class soldier. Wow. Yeah. He's a very dedicated officer, oh, too, yeah. and he's in Hong Kong. We serve the same squadron. And so, you fellas now, how long have you lived in Canada? Me, over 20 years. Really? Yeah, I moved here in 91. I see. And did you raise your family here? Yeah. Yeah, my Me too. I uh, come here in 1997, the, the, the year Hong Kong handover. Yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah, then I came here and uh, raised my family here too, yeah. And are you happy in Canada? Oh, yes, oh. yeah. We are proud. Yeah, we're proud here. Yeah. She will be here. Yeah. <laughs> we're proud to have you. Thank you. When the, when the Chinese government decided to take back Hong Kong, yeah. If we Canadians should have taken the whole population, <laughs> one million people when we had the chance, but yeah. we, we didn't know any better. <laughs> yeah, Canada is so, so, so We should big, have taken yeah. them all. Yeah. They're all so well educated, uh -huh. and they're so, such hard working yeah. people, such great citizens. They, uh, to us, uh, Canada is not, to me, it's easy to integrate to the societies. Still has some British thing, right? So we all like the street name, yeah. with the same name in Hong Kong. So it's so hard for you to get started. Here.